some feel. Good afternoon. I'm Doug Shipman, Atlanta City Council President. It's Monday, May 2nd, and I am uh, calling to order this regular scheduled meeting of the Atlanta City Council. Uh, and I just want to begin by offering uh, a heartfelt uh, good wishes for all of those who have been celebrating Ramadan. Um, today is Eid, marking the end of the season. Um, Mr. Clerk, with that, would you please call the roll? Council President Doug Shipman. Present. Council members, Post 1 at large, Michael Julian Bond. Here. Post 2 at large, Matt Westmoreland. Here. Post 3 at large, Keisha Sean Waits. Present. Council District 1, Jason H. Winston. Here. Council District 2, Amir Faroki. Here. Council District 3, Byron D. Amos. Here. Council District 4, Jason Dozier. Present. Council District 5, Liliana Bakhtiari. Here. Council District 6, Alex Wan. Council District 7, Howard Shook. Council District 8, Mary Norwood. Council District 9, Dustin Hillis. Council District 10, Andrea L. Boone. Council District 11, Marcy Collier Overstreet. Council District 12, Antonio Lewis. Quorum present. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, we'll move to the adoption of the agenda. The, the, the agenda was distributed to all members. Are there any changes to the agenda to be offered? If not, motion to adopt by Mr. Wan. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Lewis. Any discussion? Seeing none, uh, let's open the vote on the adoption of the agenda. Wait, says I. Please hold. is open. Wait, says I. Will everyone please vote? Wait, says I. Over Street Affirmative. Amos says I. Will everyone please vote? Everyone, please vote. Waits is I. Westmoreland in favor. Over Street Affirmative. Still downloading. Amos is I. The vote is now closed. Populating votes. Vote is now closed. 15 yeas, 0 nays. 15 yeas, 0 nays. The adoption is adopted. It says consent agenda at the top for any of those uh, watching at home because we can't vote on non-consent agenda uh, items. So it is a technicality at the top, but it's the adoption of the agenda at the bottom. 
Uh, with that, we'll move to our invocation. We are very honored today to have with us Rever Reverend Walter Mobley, Associate Minister of Mount Vernon Baptist Church. Please come forward. Thank you. Council President Doug Shipman, the distinguished members of the Atlanta City Council, and to all of our city employees, citizens, and friends, let us pray. Almighty God, we are thankful that you have allowed us to serve you by continuing to breathe your breath of life into our mortal beings. We are because of you. You have ordained in each and every one of us specific purpose and responsibility and opportunity to improve life for all our fellow man and woman. You have given us this day to have significant impact and impression on someone's life that will make that moment by what we say or do meaningful. So we pray your special blessings upon these your city servants the men and women who have been elected by the people to work together for the people. That those of us who live in this city, as well as those who work in and visit our city, will find our city vibrant, exciting, safe, and beautiful. As Solomon prayed a humble prayer, O Lord, give thy servant an understanding heart. We pray that you will speak to the heart and minds of all our city council, that they too will have an understanding heart and discern between good and bad. Again, bless them. Bless their families. Bless their staff. Bless all of us in your powerful name, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We have three proclamations and special awards for uh, presentation today. I would invite Councilmember uh, Boone to the podium for the first one. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, all those that are present to honor Atlanta Community School Yards Initiative, Mr. George Duesenberry, Mr. Michael Hallecky, Park Pride, will you all please come now? We also have Mr. Jimmy Cushman here who serves the ML King Junior Drive Corridor, his lovely wife. Mr. Cushman, come right on up. Thank you all so much. Move on down. Stand right here. Come on, tell him to come on down. Every come point on. down. So they'll be on the camera. Everybody on. Come on. Come over here. Go right here. Oh, Andrew and Daphne here. Today we are here to honor an organization that has done so much in Southwest Atlanta, particularly at the Lenoro Precious Mouse Elementary School and Harper Archer and throughout the city of Atlanta. 
in recognition of the Atlanta Community Schoolyards Initiative, whereas the Atlanta City Council is pleased to support the Atlanta Community Schoolyards Initiative, a partnership between the Trust for Public Land, the City of Atlanta, Atlanta Public Schools, Park Pride, and Urban Land Institute Atlanta, and whereas the initiative seeks to increase access to public land by reimagining and adding amenities to schoolyards in local communities and making them available for use during non-school hours and seeks to ensure the physical walk infrastructure within the 10-mile walk is accessible, safe, and comfortable because a city in which students can safely walk to school is one that is healthier and more resilient. And whereas in Atlanta, a quarter of residents live beyond a 10-minute walk of a park, this initiative is designed to improve schoolyards, make them accessible to the public when schools are closed, and boost green space access in our city. And whereas all communities Communities deserves access to the physical, social, and mental health benefits that parks provide. The Atlanta Community Schoolyards Initiative aims to increase the number of Atlanta residents that are within a 10-minute walk of a park. And whereas the City of Atlanta is a signatory to the 10-minute walk campaign, a nationwide movement launched in 2017 to improve access to parks and green spaces. And whereas opening schoolyards to the community outside of school hours can creatively increase access to green space and helps to transform local communities and the physical, social, environmental, and economic health of people who live in them. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the Atlanta City Council, do hereby proclaim Atlanta Community Schoolyards Initiative Day in the City of Atlanta. Congratulations. We would like to get remarks from George Dusenberry. Introduce your team. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilwoman Boone. Uh, my name is George Dusenberry. I'm the Georgia State Director for the Trust for Public Land. We're a national organization that preserves land and builds parks for people and believe that everybody should have access to the outdoors. Uh, we have a national community schoolyards program, um, which we've been doing for 20 years. And three years ago, we decided we wanted to bring it to the city of Atlanta. We reached out to our partners, the Urban Land Institute, and we have Daphne here will be coming up, and um, Park Pride. I don't think Michael is here, but Andrew is going to represent him today. Um, to, we reached out to Atlanta Public Schools and we said, hey, we'd like you to open your parks and make them available to people outdoors. As Councilwoman Boone said, they have a tremendous impact. Um, they said no, um, so we recruited um, then uh, Atlanta School Board member Byron Amos and Jason Estevez to set up a meeting with the superintendent and watch this 10 school pilot program. Um, where we raised $2 million. I want to give a special thanks to the uh, Arthur and Blank Family Foundation and Delta Airlines for their support for the program that allowed us to engage the students at these schools to reimagine what their schoolyard would look like as a park. Um, we then we designed it, got it permitted, um, raised the money, went out and built it, and we were fortunate to open our first two early this year. I'm happy to say we will be opening LP Miles um, later this month, Councilwoman Boone, and we'll finish our 10 pilot uh, projects within the year. Um, for those of you who don't also trust what land, I forgot this little spiel. Um, we've done 200 projects all over the state. We're most proud of our work in terms of helping to create the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park, um, in terms of helping to create the Atlanta Beltline, um, Cook Park, where we raised $14 million to help design the park and build it with the city, and our work on the Chattahoochee River, where we preserved 18,000 acres and 80 miles of riverfront. Um, Daphne, you want to come up and talk a little bit about ULI and what you guys do in your role? Absolutely. Thank you, George. Hi, everybody. My name is Daphne Bond Godfrey, and I'm the Executive Director of the Urban Land Institute's Atlanta District Council. ULI is a global organization, and our uh, mission is to shape the future of how cities get built. We primarily do that through our members, you know, anybody who touches how cities get built. So think architects, designers, developers, other real estate and land use professionals. They really help us advance work here um, in the Atlanta region. One of our flagship programs is called the Building Healthy Places Program, and it was really through that program that ULI globally became involved in the 10-minute walk campaign in 2018, and then here in Atlanta, the program was imagined through the Atlanta Community Schoolyards Program, as George described earlier. And really the question was, why can we not utilize public land and unlock it in a way that um, the community members can utilize it for public good? 
This was a three-year pilot of the program, and we've been so honored to be part of that. Um, I just want to call out um, Georgia Power. I have Steve Foster here with me today, and they have been an amazing partner to ULI Atlanta in this process. They, they have helped us with all of the geospatial data and, and all of the walk analyses that we have performed for all of the 10 schools. They've been critical in helping us to, to obtain that information. Our role was really to look outside the schoolyard at the 10 minute walk area coming into the schoolyard. So we were really focused on the infrastructure, the sidewalks, and could a, a child or a community member walk to the school in a safe, accessible, and comfortable way? And some of our findings were that no, they couldn't. There are still gravel roads in the city of Atlanta. I just learned that um, earlier this month. And um, and so with that said, you know, we were able to um, assess these conditions, um, literally rate all of the conditions in these 10 schools and provide reports so that the city of Atlanta or another public agency could pick those up and use them. Um, this came off? Oh. Am I still going? Oh, sorry. Um, it, it, it went off for a second. Um, could use the, um, the information in those reports to make these critical infrastructure improvements. And so I just wanted to um, thank everybody for being here today, and we've been so, so glad to be part of this project. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Andrew White. I am a licensed landscape architect and director of Park Visioning at Park Pride. I'd like to thank the Atlanta City Council for recognizing, and you in particular, Council Member Boone, for recognizing the good work we've done to get, uh, together in partnership with the Trust for Public Land, Atlanta Public Schools, the City of Atlanta, and the Urban Land Institute Atlanta through today's proclamation. Uh, Park Pride is a 30-year-old or nonprofit organization whose mission is to engage the community to activate the power of parks. And we have many programs in service of that mission, including um, Park Visioning. So the Park Visioning program provides design assistance to community groups free of charge for their neighborhood parks. And we work with residents over the course of six to eight months and produce professional quality vision plans that are then used by residents for advocacy and fundraising. Uh, since the Park Visioning program started uh, in 2006, we've completed over 50 vision plans for parks across the city, uh, some of which uh, I've worked directly with some of the members of this body here uh, today. Uh, the Atlanta Community Schoolyards program has presented us with an amazing opportunity to adapt the visioning process to the school environment, working directly with students uh, to introduce them to principles of design, uh, green careers, and environmental science. Working together, the students lead the charge to design spaces that enhance outdoor learning environments during the day and benefit their neighbors outside school hours. And we do this using curriculum built around subjects including math. businesses and people get together in the nonprofits it's a it's a wonderful thing and I think it's going to be very helpful for the area but thank you very much for this
Congratulations. George, get the, get the, get the, get the.